I remember many of his pictures being born in the dark room and this feeling of closeness to my father. I would ask him about the people in the pictures and he would say, these are our people. The story of Jewish photographer Raman Vishnyak is told by his daughter Mara Kon Vishnyak. Some of the thousands of photographs he took are shown for the first time in this documentary called simply Vishnyak. Raman Vishnyak was born to a Jewish family in Tsarist Russia in 1897. From 1935 to 1938, he traveled through Eastern and Central Europe, taking pictures of local Jewish communities, not knowing that the life he captured on camera would soon be gone. Vishnyak's photographs became the last documentation of everyday life in Jewish communities before the Holocaust. Director Laura Bialis spoke to Vishnyak's daughter Mara and recorded her stories before she died in 2018. He was in all the places where things were happening. He was in Moscow during the revolution and, and you know, fled from Moscow and went to Berlin in the 20s where uh, everything was happening. The Weimar Republic was at its heyday and he was there during, you know, the Nazi takeover of Germany. A little bit after that is when Kristallnacht happened and he was in Berlin during Kristallnacht. Then he's, you know, in in France, um, he's he's in uh, photographing people leaving on the kinder transport. The documentary tells Vishnyak's tale of how he lived through the start of the Holocaust in Europe and managed to avoid being sent to a concentration camp. Instead, in December of 1940, he and his family traveled from Lisbon to the United States. Here, Vishnyak would make significant scientific contributions to photomicroscopy and time-lapse photography. When Polish cinematographer Janusz Kaminski was filming Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List, he based a lot of scenes on Vishnyak's photographs, because they reflected the everyday Jewish life it was hard to find elsewhere. The documentary's executive producer and Spielberg's sister Nancy Spielberg says the message is clear. If humanity does not learn from its history, it's condemned to repeat it. I do think that the images um, speak to all of us. I think we are a visual society. We need to see it, not read it. We need proof. Everybody wants proof. And so this is proof of how inhumanity runs amok. Um, and maybe it will help us understand each other better. Maybe it will help create some tolerance. Maybe it will bring civility back to civilization. Documentaries like this can change minds and help remind people of horrific events that recede a little farther back in history every day. Vishnyak is playing in select theaters around the U.S. throughout this year. For Anna Nelson in New York, NRI's VOA News.